Hey everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Adobe Bridge. So, um, I'm sure not a lot of you use Adobe Bridge. Um, to be quite honest, it's not it's not 100% necessary, but it does have some really nice features that are very helpful um, if you're really in serious about uh, photo photos and you know videos and stuff like that. Um, I have it because I recently got a Nikon D7000 camera. That's a very, it's a pretty high-end camera. Um, I'm, I'm a beginner, so, um, you know, I'm trying to get into this, uh, photography kind of hobby and, um, you know, Photoshop and Bridge are pretty helpful with that. Um, so, it's basically a really advanced Windows Explorer, and um, as you can see here, it has a content vi uh, content panel. They're called panels. It has these main panels: metadata panel and your keywords panel and preview panel. Um, yeah, you can go away. And then it has your content panel and your favorites and your folders panel, and it it's very simple to navigate. Um, it's just, uh, you know, for example, uh, if I can scroll, I can't actually scroll, that's odd. Okay, so there's that. Um, a, a cool thing about it is if I go into my uh, DSLR folder, which you, these are some pictures I've taken. Um, these ones here are of uh, the library, the new library here at uh, NC State. Um, pretty cool stuff right there. But what's really neat about bridge is um, if we go down here to our uh, panels down here they're hidden by the way if you just double click them they become um, you can see them and if you double click them again they go away so that's pretty useful but inside of bridge you can go down here to your um, it gives you lenses and your focal length and your exposure time and to be honest I don't really know what much of this is <laughs> um, but it's it's really cool it tells you what camera you use Nikon D7000 you can see right there you can check it and it'll bring up all the photos that um, were taken with the same camera you can check the uh, lens or you can check no lens and you know just really really cool and um, of course it has its uh, you can go here and rate it, so that's five star rating, and you know that's that's a pretty good picture too. We'll give that a five. It's a it's an okay one. I like that one too. But you know, really, really simple stuff. Um, a few other cool things about it is you can group stuff. So if we just take um, these four photos here, you know they're kind of similar. They're all the interior of the library. So we can go over here to stacks and group a stack. And then we have basically just grouping stuff. So we have a group here and you can ungroup it and you can group it as you wish. Um, really, really simple stuff, you know. If you just sit here and you play around with it a little bit, um, you'll get used to it. You can move your panels around. You can get your... Um, ah, that's odd. I guess with Camtasia... It doesn't let me um, move your panels, but to move your panels, you would just uh, click on these, the top, the name, like for example, folders, and you just drag it somewhere that you want it to be, and um, so pretty easy, easy stuff. So, uh, anyways, up here we have our um, kind of like uh, location directory you know it's in pictures and stuff and you have your explorer and your favorite folders and um, you can label stuff uh, give something a rating like um, label it have label it something I don't know birthdays and then you can search for that keyword and it'll bring back all the stuff that has birthdays in it so um yeah it's a uh, really easy to use and again uh, I can't really show you but it's it's really simple to just drag stuff around and get your interface kind of like how you want it to look and you can export to Facebook and all that cool stuff over there there is one more thing I would like to show you and that's to um if you double click on a photo 
if it's a raw photo, it'll bring you to the, um, I think it's a, if it's a raw camera file, it'll open something different, but, um, if you click on it, it'll bring right into Photoshop. That is really cool. So that is actually very powerful when you want to. Um, it, it makes, come on, why does it keep coming up? That, that makes it really useful. It makes, it makes it really useful when you want to, um, you know, really find what you want to do and choose specific photos and it makes things easier than just um, searching through a bunch of things using uh, Windows Explorer. So um, if you can, if you're able to get this and you're really, or you want to get into photos and are you into it, then um, I recommend it. It's pretty useful to get. So yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it useful. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Eat, Sleep, and Techie.